intro sequence. <laughs> Hello, welcome to episode one of Beyond the Wall. Um, we last time we made characters, uh, so let's uh, let's go ahead and get it started by talking about those characters. Uh, guys, uh, tell us a little bit about uh, who you'll be playing tonight. Let's start with Lee, who's playing David Allen Conan. Well, I was born in a family of really, really <laughs> snobby, rich, rich family. And then we got stuck out here in this wilderness. And House Conan, our, yes. House Conan with our mass intelligence and we, we and our tactical abilities, we, we basically set ourselves up to be the, the you know, the warlords of the area. And, you know, my, my family kind of controlled the military and all that and, I'm following in my parents, my, my dad's shoes, and uh, I'll be the next warlord of the area. Okay. It's good, it's good to have goals. Like when uh, you're in kindergarten and it's like, what do you want to be when you grow up? Warlord. A warlord. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Uh, Chris, tell us about Zool. Uh, hi. I, I, I am Zool. Um, I am a young, humble farmer who realized that farming's for bitches, and I <laughs> want to uh, lead Episode the one, dead. Farming's against, for bitches. I want to have. I want to lead the dead uh, that are under my command to make the world a better place. Uh, and also, I mean, they're pretty good at farming. They don't mind the sun, and they can <laughs> they can do stuff. But um, I, I've since left the the humble farmland and have become a a master in the dark arts. Um, my my year and a half of learning. I'm a master. I've mastered this trade. Um, mm -hmm. I am taking. I'm opening classes. People want to learn to be, you know, children of the dark arts. I am one. I can pass on what I know. Um, but yeah, these are my yeah. these are my homies. You know, um, and these are my friends here. The the homies are the dead guys behind me. But these are my friends. So um, yeah. All right, Carl. Tell us about Magnus. All right, I am Magnus the Boneless. Uh, a descendant of the Reavers, I have a, a close connection to my ancestors, and um, just let's see, let's see if I remember. Were your oh, ancestors right boneless here. also? They were, yes. Oh, a, a long lineage <laughs> of the boneless. <laughs> How does that work with men with no bones oh. making more children? We don't ask questions in the ah. Reavers. Okay, that makes sense. Okay. Question is, questions are for bitches. That's right. <laughs> Bones are for bitches. <laughs> All skeletons. Are anyway. <laughs> yeah. So Magnus's uh, grandmother is even the wise woman of the village, right? So, yes. Yeah. Yes. So, yeah, your your family probably has a has a mystical reputation uh, mm. around the village. Not involving um, bones at all. No, no bones. No, no. no bones. <laughs> Uh, let's have everyone. Uh, we'll start with David. Uh, roll as a roll me a one d twelve, and we'll see what has happened to you lately. Uh, you'll notice on the land on the um, screen in Foundry, I made a little table and uh, the order that we're sitting around the table. So uh, in this case, um, Chris is Chris's character is also with you on this. Um, so what would you get? A one. A one. That doesn't sound good. Okay. Uh, yeah. So Start, last night, off off. as you were as you were sleeping in your your bed in uh, in House Conan and in, in the keep, uh, a ghostly voice whispered many things to you. Among the babbling, you heard that the king has risen. Uh, make a wisdom test, please. Okay. I didn't do it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I guess, Steve. I guess Zul was not <laughs> here, not at this one. Yes, ace uh, that. One, yeah, all right. It's a free favor, right? No, it's not how you get that. So, uh... Fortune points, yeah. You, you know that uh, you were able to distinguish, so the, the voices, the name of the king was in this kind of weird language, but you were able to somehow, uh, in your mind, decipher it, uh, and you know that it means... Uh, the uh the horror oh, let me just make sure i get this right um oh crap where is it hold on yeah 
You know that it was, he is called the Horned King. The Horned King. Yes. Very, so Ooh. very strange. You, you woke, you, you kind of in the morning, you woke up not quite sure if you dreamed the whole thing or if something was really, really uh, whispering to you. All right, Zul, give me a D12 roll, please. A D12 roll. Okay, okay. Slash. We roll D12. An L. Seven. Seven. Okay, and uh, I believe somebody is with you. Uh. Yeah. Uh. So Magnus is was with you. Uh, when you saw this happen. So two nights ago, a star fell to the earth in a field just outside the village. Uh, Isn't that my farmland? Sorry. Yeah, maybe, the maybe it was. The just, my, it just, my house. Your beautiful <laughs> farm. It had this like the crops had finally grown yeah. and like it was going to, you were, it's going to feed the whole village. Great. And, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Basic bitch farmland now is a whole way. Yeah. Test. <laughs> so make a strength <laughs> roll, please. A strength roll? Yes. Oh, yeah. oh hang on. I have very low strength. <laughs> strength ability score. Wait a second. I can see so, this student can, of the dark arts out there trying know, to yeah, yeah, haul this that, chunk of metal. I know that my dark arts training, while I'm not super strong, I am strong in the dark arts. And I think that I have had visions of, of, of bones and things flying through the air, crashing into the earth. And I think I have seen this before. Would you agree and allow me a plus four bonus to my roll? I would not. No. Okay. <laughs> I did not. Make oh, it. that's a fail. Yeah. Well, so if so, you can't you can't get it. You can't shift the chunk of metal. It's just too. It's just uh, it's just too heavy. So you go to the village to try to get help and tools, and when you come back, it's gone. Weird, very weird. You said Magnus was with me though. Does he know where it went? Uh, no. Um, yeah, Magnus was with you. Uh, he saw it, but yeah, it. Uh, he didn't help. What kind of? What well, crap it, is that, dude? You're too focused on the bones. <laughs> <laughs> this, <laughs> this metal bone. <laughs> All right, roll, roll a d12, Magnus. All right. <laughs> nice one. <laughs> All right. Um. In dreams and portents, clues as to the secret nature of the king are making themselves clear to you. Uh, test intelligence. <laughs> Why are all uh. these so hard? <laughs> are you a smart man, Mr. Bones? Mm, yes, yeah, yeah, smart yeah. enough. All right. Yeah. You know the true name of the ancient king. It's like a. What, it's not the horny king that is risen <laughs> with bone. Like, it's it's like an unpronounceable uh, symbol, but uh, you you know it if the time if the time comes. It's Prince. <laughs> the it's purple the king. All right. Uh, let's start the new day off with a weather roll here. I'll just click this little button and roll the weather. See what it's like. All right. It says the fifth of Lucreos, uh, springtime. Um, uh oh, my some reason it's not changing on the it's uh overcast and muggy. Um surprisingly warm for this time of year. Um so you guys all wake early. Uh, a couple of you have had weird, weird ass dreams, but uh everyone in the village is excited. Uh there is a traveling circus that has come to town. Uh, they come to town very often, maybe uh, maybe once a year. Sometimes they can't they don't even make it uh, this far in a year. So it's very it's a big deal that they're in town. Uh, they've been setting up the last couple of days and this afternoon they are supposed to open. Uh, so the whole village is pumped about this uh, circus. Do we have tickets? Uh, no, they haven't. Uh, you you actually actually you just uh they don't charge to come in they charge to if you go into the big the big top but you can come onto the grounds and kind of wander That's around right. uh, and then like there are some games and stuff that 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 you'll have to you'll have to pay for but mm -hmm. um, so as young men of the village uh you're you're expected to begin each weekday with weapons training until you pass your trial so after your 
uh, your like 18th name day, you you go out on this trial and that's still like three weeks away. But in the meantime, before then, you're expected to kind of show up every weekday morning and do some training, weapons training. And uh, this is uh, being led by Bjorn, who is the weapons master of Haas Conan. And this is sort of one of his additional duties that he's taken on is to is to train uh, train you guys. And uh, yeah, so you arrive at the field. Uh, the three are you three of you um, get there, and uh, you're expected to put all of your real weapons kind of over to the side of the field. You're supposed to uh, take up these wooden swords that they have there, and you know start start sparring um, <laughs> or larping. <laughs> well, you know, it doesn't doesn't pay to have you know people chop off their fingers and yeah, stuff. Yeah, yeah. Um, but you may pay to have somebody do yeah. that. Just out of character, <laughs> larping squared. It's larping in an RPG. Yeah. <laughs> Larpception. <laughs> Larpception. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Every larping session is ten times longer than the previous larping. Session. <laughs> So when you get there, Bjorn is not there. Uh, so he's he's late, basically. But that's not it's un- not typical. It's right? unusual, but it's not unheard of. Like occasionally, occasionally he does show up late. Uh, Since was, he does work for House Conan, do I get to beat him later? Uh, you, I, I, yeah. It depends on. Uh, I think you would have a hard time keeping a good weapons master if you if you oh, okay. beat him. <laughs> but um, may, maybe he's not a good he, he weapons master. He beats you. I mean, in the Conan spot, he beats you. You know, he shows a blade. <laughs> so, so it, would anybody like to spar before uh, oh, Bjorn? Yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. So, skeletons. yeah. So, pe- yeah. square off. Who who wants to go first? Who who wants to challenge challenge first? I'll go first. I'm, I'm a warlord. I'm going to step in the ring immediately. <laughs> yeah. All right, so I'll, I'll step in too. David and Magnus make opposed dexterity rolls. Oh shit, you win! <laughs> <laughs> Hang on, I'm gonna use a favor uh, and help. I'm gonna help. Can I add? Can I try to intimidate <laughs> him dis- while I'm doing this? Distract him. <laughs> yeah, you can. can yeah, t- you you can try so to. So I get my plus two to that. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah. Making a make a, a charisma check and get your plus two on that. Let's see. Charisma first. Plus two. And if you pass this, I'll give you a bonus on the next one. I, I can help a friend and give you plus two to your score. <laughs> You're going to distract the other person. <laughs> so I, I passed it. I passed that. All right. Yeah. So yeah, take a plus two on your dexterity roll then. It's a dex roll. Okay. Yeah. Ooh, so oh, he's still beat me. <laughs> oh. <laughs> so he's like, you! And you just go, whack! <laughs> <laughs> While I'm yelling at you, you smack me. <laughs> so, so you're like just kind of ah oh, ah. Oh, you're gonna you're gonna just kind of leave a, leave a bruise. Uh, I Zool, got better. Would you? <laughs> all right, all right. Zool and Magnus. Then all right. I hold my my wooden stick and then I cast Veil of Sleep. <laughs> <laughs> What's that? Do? <laughs> it just says Veil of Sleep, and I click the roll icon. I don't know what it was though. I think it's his damage. Uh, it should be. Oh, there we I, go. I think there, I, I put the description in. The... You did. Yeah, you did. I'm sorry. I, did, I didn't click the edit button. I whisper soothing words of magic, causing <laughs> you to drift into a deep sleep. It, the spell affects 2d4 hit dice worth of creatures within with near range. Three. Uh, the sleep is very, very deep, but otherwise natural. Uh, <laughs> but physically harming them does. So you fall asleep, and then I smack you in the face. <laughs> That's right. the only way I can out, outmaneuver the, the, the burly people that I fight with. I have to put them to sleep first and then smack them in the face. So this is kind of like one of those, oh, Steve, kind of, yeah. kind of moments. Uh, did, this did, is what happens when we don't have our weapons master helping us yeah. train. Yeah. So do you have <laughs> spell around. slots or something? Like, how do you I'll, determine how click many? My, I, I'll click my spell slot. I think I have to manually click it. So, yeah. <laughs> okay. It says I have 10. I just clicked one. I don't know. All right, so Magnus falls asleep. Then you then you hit him, which wakes him up, and he's like, "Ah, dang, he's you're probably I'm pretty not, pissed." I win. <laughs> and Steve's like prancing around. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> the winner, champion, cheater, cheater. Huh? Use all the tools at your disposal, Magnus. All right. Who wins? So as that's happening, uh, Bjorn shows up. Uh, We're he, done. We're done, boss. 
And he's like, all right, get in line, get in line. You could tell he looks a little more tired than usual. Like, uh, he, yeah, he's just got dark circles under his eyes. He's, uh, um, as he starts going, he starts leading you through the sword forms, uh, sort of like, you know, Tai Chi, but, you know, it's like, you know, you're all going together. Uh, and he just seems like he's slower than usual. And so then he, he uh, kind of spreads, he like uh, divides you up again and you start kind of sparring and somebody's sparring with him. And surprisingly, you get a couple of hits on him. You know, usually he doesn't. Usually you don't. Usually he's he's much, much better than, than he is today. He's just, just a little step behind, it seems like. Pastor Bjorn, did you spend too much time out drinking last night or something? Oh, no, no, no. Not, nothing like that. No, I, I just didn't sleep well last night. That, that's, oh, all. that's all. Got a lady friend. No, no, no. <laughs> that's crazy. Why would you think that? That's insane. Uh, anyway. Maybe it was a gentleman friend. Whack! He's, he's, <laughs> <laughs> you, have to, you have to dodge real fast. <laughs> yeah, we feel no judgment. Just saying, you're obviously tired and happy for you, man. I thought, bad sleep. I mean, yeah. Or maybe I didn't sleep. <laughs> I didn't sleep great either. Crazy dreams. Uh, yeah, yeah. All right, all right. Let's take a break for water. Hey, uh, and so he uh, he goes kind of throws his wooden stick down and he just goes under a tree and just kind of sits there. Um, you guys look over and by the, uh, kind of by the um, bench where you set your, your weapons, um, there is a woman there and she is carrying a large pitcher of water. And uh, David is discouraged to recognize that it is uh, Belinda. Um mm-hmm. Who uh, you had recently had a uh, little bit of a fling with, and it didn't end so well. Um, and you can tell even as you walk over towards her that she's kind of giving you uh, dirty looks, and you might not get any water from. I just kind of turned the other way and kind of hide my. I was like, "Hey, Steve, can you grab me a glass of water?" <laughs> yeah, I got you, man. I, it's rough when the weapons master is screwing your chick. I got you. <laughs> Uh, I mean, water. if she says anything about like being pregnant, it wasn't. Me. <laughs> now you don't know if it's the weapon. Or not. You're good. Good. Uh, There's enough doubt. Suddenly, um, Zool, uh, Steve, yeah. Yeah. you get your you get this Zool. Zool. queasy feeling in the pit of your stomach. Oh. Um, it's, it's not the water, is it? <laughs> at first, no, you think there is death magic nearby. Like, this is Whoa. the feeling. You get this feeling when yeah. you when you cast a, a spell. I usually like Well, yeah, it's when it's unexpected, it's not <laughs> like pleasant. It. Yeah, when it's yeah. unexpected, it's not pleasant. Uh, so guys, Belinda yeah, lets out a on. scream. She drops the, uh, the water, shatters all over the place. And oh, no. she points, and emerging from the trees in the direction of the village is a group of what you first you think they are just really skinny people like maybe you know like uh, refugees from a war or oh. something <laughs> yeah like but <laughs> crossfit no no they they yeah they're skeletons you quickly recognize that they are okay. skeletons and they have uh ancient looking armor and rusty swords and uh, rusty war hammers and they are they have these like glowing eyes and they're they're heading like straight for you like, oh, no. like just you know how the uh that old movie uh, sinbad how they like the stop motion they have that it's this really creepy way that they're walking like, oh, oh, and they're, like heading toward, straight towards you that's a very mm. vivid image so let us go to the hey magnus they get some bones over there for you <laughs> oh bones <laughs> eight bones yeah, <laughs> <having> to start <laughs> Would you say that these these uh, skeletons are of chaotic alignment? Uh, probably. Okay. Uh, can you guys see anything? Know. Yep. You can. Yeah. Why do I not have? Oh, I know what I need to do. Probably just need to drag over the party tokens. Oh man, wait. Is that Taylor Swift? What did you use for the chicks? <laughs> <laughs> oh no, it's not Taylor Swift. Sorry. It's not Taylor. It's not Taylor, <laughs> it's not Taylor. Is that Swift. Tay? What? No. <laughs> She's just a, a tiny baby. Why can I not? Monster there, lurching on that is a lot of skeletons. Yeah. Duration I've seen one more. Hour. One hour per level. I'm level one. That's one hour. Okay. 
Why is the whole like mm. the lighting is messed up? It's like a okay, never mind. All right, let's uh let's just go into initiative here. I think I can just do this. I need I need to get a good initiative. Hey, when it says casting time is an hour, I don't stand there for an hour. That's how long it lasts, right? Mm, no, I think that means it takes an hour to cast. Oh, wow. <laughs> what? I'm be there that's, a while. That's uh, what? <laughs> how long are the fights in this game? <laughs> every every stand there for a second. One second. Yeah. yeah. Or should be like time out, time out. Yeah. Like, what do we? I need I'm fifty-nine more fireball. minutes. <laughs> Uh, I so get, it's get, probably a ritual. Initial, it is a ritual, but yeah, like, rituals are like something that you you know you plan ahead. Draw, and you, draw. Yeah. Like, How am I supposed to use circle of protection ever in a reactionary state? Like, well, if you know something is, yeah, you. I guess if you know can you're I, about can to I, fight, can I retcon that? Can I just go ahead and say that the every, of every this time, whole training, every, every time morning you morning, get up I, and you I, make yeah. a circle of protection in the middle this, of the field. This, this, this circle of protection. Yeah, we're not chaotic. We're allowed to come through it, you know, so it's all good. <laughs> what does the know? circle of okay. protection do? It, it's uh, oh, come on, I probably it. something really good. It wasn't not. It wasn't bad. It wasn't super good. Um, uh, the mage draws a complex series of interlocking circles, <laughs> and warding runes, creating a barrier against creatures of chaos. Any creature with a chaotic alignment may not enter the circle unless first passing a saving throw. And if they do manage to pass the circle once inside, they suffer minus two on all attack rolls. And all those inside receive a plus two bonus in saving throws. Yeah, I think that could be wow. useful now that you know like that they're evil every time I walk attacking. into any room, I need to just do that for an hour. <laughs> just like give me <laughs> yeah. start drawing this out. <laughs> um all right, Zool, you go first. All right, so the only spells that I have is Veil of Sleep and Circle of Protect. I guess, can I reanimate a reanimated skeleton? Can I like reanimate Square? Can I just take over the reanimation? Uh, <laughs> maybe after you destroy, like if you kill uh, it, destroy maybe you one. can okay. read. That, that makes sense. I figured you'd say that. Um, <laughs> Turn it back to a human and then kill it again. Is that... yeah. Yeah. I was hoping to skip that step and just take it over. <laughs> uh, all right. I'm going to do, I guess, Veil of Sleep now that I've practiced, you know, against Magnus. Um, we'll do it for real this time. Uh, I'm gonna whisper, "Go to sleep," and you then have, like one. What's is the gonna... range? On, what's the range on that spell? Like, do you have to be close? You want to be nitpicky? It says I mean, near. What is? Yeah, it? you're gonna Go need to sleep. To... <laughs> 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 in the ear. <laughs> in that case, can I, I? I'd like to wait on my turn until they get closer. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh... Can I? Can I? Can I just be like? I'm gonna chill here for a second. Is that okay? Like, can I go after skeleton number one? Why don't you pick up a rock and throw at him? They don't have anything. Um, There's rocks on the ground. Item. <laughs> You're. I probably uh, won't make it. I don't you have. Nine. You have a weapon, right? You have a, weapon. I have a dagger. I'm not throwing them a dagger at him. No, but like you could move over by Belinda and pick up your dagger. They're like they're on that bench. There. Oh yeah. Okay. I'll move over by by Belinda. I'll push her behind me and I'll pick up my dagger. <laughs> oh, so I would have put her in front. <laughs> no, no. She's probably got better strength than you. She's a level Fine. six. <laughs> she's a level six. Warrior. No, no, but I got this. I'm an und I, I am a master of the undead. Stand behind me, Belinda. We got this. Zool is here to protect you. So there we go. Yeah. Steve. I, you're about to upgrade boyfriends. Hang on a second. So. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. Well, that's that's. That was a uh, super eventful turn for me. <laughs> Bjorn is a little bit slow on the uptake, so he is just going to be like, you know, Back stare in shock at these things. Uh, uh, that's really annoying. Why does it keep telling me it's my turn? Because it's your turn. turn. Yeah, now it's skeleton number one. All right, which skeleton is it? Uh, let me ping him. That, one. that guy. How many spaces can a skeleton oh. move? How many spaces can we move? Good question. Yeah. I don't think we figured that out. Uh, no, let's see. Uh, let me go to the combat section here. That's Speed of zero. <laughs> Probably should write that. <laughs> yeah, mine's zero also. Awesome. <laughs> yeah, I think we're supposed to fill that in. <laughs> we're very sedentary. <laughs> let's see. Playbook have a speed in it. I'm gonna put sixty. 
I don't think this game was designed to be used on a battle map, so it doesn't even talk about movement. <laughs> You'd have to, right? How are you mm -hmm. saying that you're near or far if you don't have a map? It says, okay, when you... It's the theater of the mind, Chris. Oh. <laughs> when your turn comes around, you can do one thing. If it's okay to talk about... It's okay to talk while you're doing it. Your action will be resolved before the next person. So you can... Hmm. Yeah, that's weird. You think it would at least mention? Maybe it's in uh, optional rules. Uh, All right. Well, let's just say you have you can move five five spaces like you can in D and D. Sixty. Yeah. Wow. No, ten six spaces. seconds. We can do. Six you can do spaces. anything that can happen within ten seconds. All right, so he's going to go one, two, three, four, five, six. Ten seconds is a lot of time. Yeah. Uh, and he's going to oh, roll his has. long sword attack on David. <laughs> it took me a second there. <laughs> Nobody else heard. I appreciate that. Uh, that's a miss. I'm assuming that's a miss. So you have to get above my uh, AC. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Yeah. So he lunges at you. <laughs> not even. Not anywhere close. Mm. Uh, get better. This... Skeleton. No, One, don't two, get better. <laughs> Wait, team team wipe on the first this, battle. <laughs> this one actually hits the hits the uh, bench and it's like oh. he like knocks it over and he's like trying to claw his way through and it's oh. kind of. Does he die? Can I reanimate him? No, no. He's he's fine. He's just. <laughs> Dead by bitch. His head falls three, off, and I play. Like... <laughs> this one's heading toward Bjorn. Uh, Magnus, your turn. All right, let's go to intercept. One, two. Ha! <laughs> it's, uh, okay. What do I do here? Uh, we'll attack, obviously. So these traits, how do those. How do those work? Um, Is it like a once per fight thing? What what, uh, what trait are you specifically? Uh, like the great strike or weapon skill, long sword. Uh, I'm not sure. So the great strike. Okay, so that's just a. That's a to hit and damage. The great strike plus one damage with all weapons. Yeah, they all get. Yeah, they're. Great strike is a plus one damage. Um, yeah, they're just bonuses. Okay. So I will. Now you do get a plus plus one if you're using your your favored weapon, which I'm assuming you are. So. Yeah, grab. I grabbed a long sword. So. Uh, do I need to add stuff to that? Uh, Unless you type it in in that modifier box, it doesn't. Yeah, actually I didn't do that. So that was plus a one to hit. Plus two damage, and then plus one damage. So, I guess a four. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Not great. Yeah, you, you don't, you guys. Yeah, you, you maybe you you're still a little bit shaky from the falling asleep and getting whacked in the face, but uh, that <laughs> yeah. was a total miss, like even worse than the skeleton. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, next skeleton. Which one is that? Way down there. One, two, three. That one. One, two. He will attack David Allen. Conan. He has a plus one. Ooh, that's a hit. Yes, it is. Wow. Three points of damage. Three points. Man. You think it's kind of weird. He like swings at you, but it's almost like his attention is focused. Even after he attacking you, he's still kind of focused more on Bjorn. Like he's headed that. Not let me click that and apply damage. Yeah, uh, this module is probably okay. I got it. I'll just type it in. 
Your turn. Okay, I am going to take a swipe at that skeleton that just hit me with my dagger. What? What would a dagger do against a skeleton? <laughs> yeah, your wooden uh, practice sword might uh, do more. And, and, and um, how much? I mean, what? It's my favorite weapon, so will I add a, what, a plus one to it. Uh, if that's um. Did you, is that, yeah, because you're a, war, a warrior rogue, right? Yeah, I and mean, it was uh, my favorite weapon. Yeah, then you get a plus one um, attack and a plus two damage. Okay. And his AC is 13. Ooh. That's a hit. And then, so six damage. That is enough to kill it. That's what you can do with the dagger. <laughs> So you just like stab him right in his, in his glowing red eye, and the the eye the eyes glowing red stops, and he just kind of kind of crumbles into a, a pile of bones. Which one is that? Is that this one or uh, what is Where's my is target? Where, I, okay. Yeah. Oh, wait, it's I'm the just, one that just attacked me. It'll put a thing on, I think, once I get the. Oh no, it won't. There now. Uh, it's oh, the wrong okay. one. Okay. Oh, I was, I oh, sorry. No, I attacked this one, the one that just attacked me. Okay. It's closer. They have the same. Nope. <laughs> nope. That's the wrong one. I, I prioritize this target because he's closer to getting to the other people. Our wizard and our... <laughs> Mage. Yeah. Mage, Steve. No, not a wizard. <laughs> Zool. Zool. Alright, hold on. Let me this. You guys know I go by Zool now. <laughs> That's right. right. Okay, Steve. Cool. <laughs> Uh, Belinda will uh, gather up one of your the wooden. Stay uh, back. Stay back. The the wooden swords, <laughs> and she's like, like a... "David's in trouble. David's in trouble. I need to help him." No, <laughs> you, no, no. You think there might trouble. maybe there's, you. maybe there's still something there. Oh, I don't yeah. know. Yeah. All right, you're I'm embarrassing just... me, woman. <laughs> Zul, <laughs> Zul's turn. <laughs> <laughs> So I still have my wooden stick, and now I have my dagger, almost like a rapier and dagger combo. It's like, you know. Why don't you so what stick I'm your dagger do... onto the wooden stick and make it an extra long <laughs> stick? Duct tape it on. <laughs> I'm going to move here, stand on the bench, and I'm going to... Uh, hearkening back to when I was a humble farm boy, I'm going to hold... I'm going to drop the dagger, because you can't stab a skeleton. It make sense. <laughs> so... I'm going to use the sword like it's a hoe and I'm like raking and it's just I'm using like a like a, a maneuver that is very similar to my farming background mm -hmm. such that I can get a plus two bonus <laughs> oh, when, I, <laughs> when I okay. smack him. I'm trying to take his head off. With All right, him. I'll I'll give you that. Yeah. I'll give you that. Yeah, you know, but, you know, but, you know but, the farming what? strike. I, I see. Farming, farming strike. strike. Hoe yeah, strike. Yeah, Activate. Yeah, let me do that farming strike. That's what it's going to be now. Farming <laughs> strike, uh, go. So what, what would that be? Because I don't actually have a weapon that is this weapon. Uh, uh, I guess it would be a strength. It would be a strength roll with the plus two. <laughs> <laughs> Should I just try the dagger instead? Should I just try the dagger as far as damage goes? Would that be... What's the... Uh, <laughs> what is, what is a terrible farmer. I mean, I think all <laughs> melee attacks are strength. So yeah. Oh, okay. Uh, All right. Let me let me roll this with a modifier of plus two, which is going to get me to eleven. Hey, that's a nice. Oh wait, that's a miss. Yeah, I gotta be under. Oh wait, no, it's so. not a strength check. It's a you you we want to roll oh. uh, and add your strength bonus, right? Uh, yeah. Oh, zero. But, but I get a two. Zero. I get a two for the farming strike. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Oh, oh there, there you go. That's good, right? No, that's bad. That's bad. I don't have any fucking idea how to play this game. Okay. That's attack, attack, high, attack. Skills checks low. Yeah, okay, attack okay. and savings are high. Uh, skill, yeah. Okay. Uh, attribute right, checks well, low. We, I we lean can't over and I'm like, yeah. Belinda hoes better than you. <laughs> yeah. You like I dig, you like dig up some of the ground. I like did roll a, a, a D20. It was just in the wrong order, and it turned it red because it thought I was going to lose. I well, did you know, roll that, that's, high that's a good point. You rolled, yeah, yeah. what did you, what did you roll? I rolled a 17. Original? 17? Yeah, you're right. Yeah. You're right. That's a, That would be a hit. So, sure. that's, yeah. yeah. we almost, okay. And then what's how much damage would that stick be? My uh, farming strike. 
I guess oh, a, a D6. Right a D6. A D6. Okay. <laughs> a D6. Oh, or D6. Nice. <laughs> Fucking shit. <laughs> no. Smack him in the eyeball or the, the red eye glowy socket. I'll look back at Belinda and say, look, Steve hoes better than you. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody hoes David like I do. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Bjorn is has at last drawn, for life. <laughs> has drawn his long sword uh, and is is rushing forward. So that's one, two, three, four, five. Then he will take a swing at. Oh crap! I didn't give him a long sword. Hold on, let me give him a long sword. Uh, weapons. Long sword. And he gets a plus three. And a 15 is a hit for one point of damage. <laughs> See, that's how you do it. Right there. So the same that Steve I Steve hit you too. <laughs> 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 All right. This skeleton is going to attack Zool after that ho strike. No, you try. You try. Oh, that's a hit. It's, 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 with this one. it's called a hose strike now. <laughs> Whoa, eight points of damage. Oh, Jesus <laughs> Christ! He didn't even attack. Oh, he did. Okay. Eight does that kill you? Uh, yes, it does. <laughs> Zero. I didn't oh, even no. get to res my first skeleton. <laughs> <laughs> I am in death saving throws now, guys. Please help. How much? Wait, let me check. How much? Was that a D8 and he just rolled an 8? I think he... Yeah. Yes, right. it was a 1D8. Yeah. Uh, all right, let's I look at the... I only have 1D8 of, da- of health. That's what I got. <laughs> 8 health. Let's look at the <laughs> rules for a death here. Oh, my goodness. Oh, you can... I think you can spend a fortune point, right? And prevent death or something? Like yeah, that. so right now. Player, you can stabilize with the fortune point. So that... Help a friend, second chance, cheat death. Right, a dying yes. character may spend a fortune point to stabilize the zero points and not continue to take damage every round. It says a character who has reached zero points needs help immediately. They will continue to lose points at the rate of one per round unless they receive medical attention. Should a character's hit points reach negative 10, he is dead. I'm okay. I got a couple. So, I got the time. You guys got this. So he just, just the skeleton just does this amazing uh, hack. And uh, yeah, and Steve goes down. Zool. Zool goes down. Uh, this one is finally getting untangled. One, four, and he will attack Bjorn. There's another sword. Uh, that's a miss. This one will also attack Bjorn. That's plus one. That's, That's a hit. A hit. Six points of damage. Jeez. Maybe Ooh, Bjorn's hurt. got more than that, though. Yeah, he's still up, but that was that definitely hurt. Uh, Magnus. All right, let's try to swing at this one again. Uh, let's see if I added these things on correctly. Oh, Ooh, that's good, right? Critical nice. hit. Nice. Triple damage. Let's, let's see what crit- what critical hits do in this game. Um, Man, that dice spun a long time. Yeah. <coughs> Second attack. Uh, it doesn't. Instant stabilization of friends nearby. It doesn't say that there is any. Uh, like, I got you. Hit. <laughs> I'm gonna say it does max damage. Uh, typical okay. old school. So it does max damage. It's eleven damage then. Yeah. Yeah, you're not uh, you're not resin that court. Which one were you attacking? Uh, the the one right in front. Okay, yeah, he which, which one is that? That one. He is dead. Yeah. All right, uh, David. Cool. I'm gonna go for this one right in front of me. <clears throat> the one that just took Steve out. So. 
That's a miss. <laughs> All right. I never really catch on. Like... <laughs> Linda's gonna rush forward uh, and like, oh no, Steve. <coughs> uh, what does she have to do? Can I just get up pissed off? God her. fucking damn it! <laughs> so Steve. <laughs> Need to help. They will continue this point unless mm-hmm. they receive medical attention. Okay, let's see. How do you do your medical attention? Uh, Ooh, such mouth to mouth from Belinda. <laughs> mm. Yeah, Each, buddy. Another character may make a wisdom check to patch up a dying character. If successful, the character stabilizes and will no longer lose further hit points. Okay. Um, so she will make a wisdom check. Uh, guess Good luck. She's a blonde. <laughs> Disadvantage. <laughs> oh, that's, oh that's a ten. Uh... <laughs> I have no idea how this works. I, I think that's enough. That is sta- stabilized. She she's able to. Uh, she rubbed uh, dirt in the wound. To bind your wound with, with <laughs> spit on it. She rips part of her skirt off. And, Ooh. Ties your ties your wound your wound. Hey closed. Steve, look, she's pretty good at hoeing too. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> All Any right. reason to get the clothes off. I think you're still you're still out of the fight though, right? You don't gain a hit point. You just you're just stable. I mean, we can house rule and say I get two hit mm-hmm. points. Mm-hmm. <laughs> All right, Bjorn is going to try to kill this other skeleton. Come on, Bjorn. But how do I heal? Like, how am I supposed to heal? I don't get it. Uh, that's a mess. Jeez, Bjorn's <laughs> really sucking. He must have, like, something's wrong with him, because usually he's pretty badass. Uh, but, yeah, he's just, today he's not. Uh... He's not drinking all night, I'm telling you. <laughs> oh, shit, Cody, hang on a second. For me, death and dismemberment. When a player is reduced to zero, roll a 1d6 and a 1d12 on the following table. <laughs> oh, I forgot about our death and dismemberment. Well, yeah. at zero, each, each successful attack causes another roll. I can lose no. legs. I can I... lose fingers and toes. And yes. Yeah, all sorts of shit. I don't think. Let's not do that on the very first combat. But yeah, in the future. <laughs> in the future. Yes. Some of this is like I can. I. I. T- I don't take. I'm not dead. Like I'm stunned. I'm not prone. <laughs> But yeah. no action next round. Like I'm not dead. You know what I mean? But yeah. maybe he didn't see that he's missing a finger yet. It's just because it's in the heat of battle. We'll discover after the battle's over. We'll save that for the next the next fight. Because okay, that's okay, okay. that those I, I actually added those rules when I thought this was gonna be an old school essentials game. So there but I think I think they'll work, but yeah, let's save it for the next yeah, one. Yeah. All right. Uh let's see. This guy is going to attack David. Oh no, he'd go after Steve again. Um, actually, I uh, no, he's gonna he's gonna attack Dave. I mean, he got hoed by Steve. I mean, Steve, <laughs> I'm dead, but stable. Uh oh, that's a hit. This could be bad. Yes, it is a hit. Eight oh, points. Of that, that is bad. Oh, I, no. I'm not down. I'm still I'm still up. Oh wow! All right. Oh. Uh, wait, this, wait. No, uh... I'm not. No, I'm not. I'm not. I'm down. <laughs> I, <laughs> I forgot. I forgot. I'm down. Okay. Yeah, I'm done. Uh, he's going to shoot. That's a hit. This is not good. <laughs> Only two points. Uh, Bjorn is not looking good at all. He is definitely <laughs> injured. Party uh, wipe. <laughs> Magnus. Okay, I gotta get this one with Bjorn. Oh, that's not. That's a mess. Uh, this is not looking good, guys. Uh, we should have taken our training more seriously. He's, he's going to go here and try to take out Bjorn. That's a miss. All right, David, you take a minus, another minus, a minus one. Belinda, she she hesitates. Like you notice, you notice the hesitation. You notice the hesitation, but she, like, eh. she, he stabbed me in the crotch right here. She, 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 she <laughs> is, again. She's now wearing a very very short skirt, and oh, that's why she was hesitant. She's like, if I give another bandage, oh, oh, yeah. she failed. She failed. Oh. So, 
yeah, that bandage just it wasn't tight enough or something. Uh, and yeah, not not good enough. <laughs> All right, Bjorn, he tries to take out the skeleton again. So Bjorn, get it together. Oh, I'm trying. I'm trying. Oh, that's a hit. I'm trying. <laughs> Seven <laughs> points. That's enough to murder the skeleton. I thought that was his roll to hit. I was like, he missed. It's like, no. <laughs> Mm. All right, this one is going to rush over here. Try to hack at Magnus as it runs past. As it obviously trying to get at mm -hmm. uh, Bjorn, but ooh, is that a hit? Oh, that's a that's a hit. Yep. Uh -oh. <laughs> okay, three points. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, Magnus. All right, I'll swing at the one that charged me here. Roll. Ooh, ah! Critical hit. The bones. <laughs> I hate bones. <laughs> Which one? It's that one. <laughs> yeah, that's the second critical hit you got. Yeah. yeah. I'm just so mad. Annihilates him. Uh, now this skeleton gets one more shot at what's looking like one more shot. The Bjork. Bjorn and misses. Uh, David loses another point. Melinda is going to give it another shot. The old college try here. She needs to get. Oh, there, that's good enough. She got it. Zero. So yeah, you are stable. And she has no more pants. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just... I do have a, a, a strange piece of fur she could wear. <laughs> oh yeah, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> or maybe that's where I got it from. Maybe that's what she oh, God. Is that a trophy from your last comic book? <laughs> Bjorn misses. Uh, so it is all right. Magnus. It's I'll all up around. to you. Come on. <laughs> oh, <God>. Jeez. <laughs> oh, the bones everywhere. <laughs> bones, bones, bones. <laughs> Automatic critical hit on anything bone related. <laughs> Don't you know who I am? <laughs> I am the bone lass. And you see this left and you're like, what the fuck? Yeah. Bjorn, he's like, he's like all injured and he's just like, man, I have trained you really well, Magnus. <laughs> Magnus is like, Arr! there's like bones Bone scattered all mouth. over the place. <laughs> all right, funny. let's go back to, back to landing. So do we heal now? <laughs> well... Uh, let's look at the healing chat. I think you get, yeah, you recover one hit point every night. You receive a full, <laughs> full night's rest. Um, I guess I'm sleeping on the field for a night. So, uh, Magnus, you know that if you can take these injured people, including Bjorn, to your grandmother, uh, yeah. she might be able, she has some healing salves that she could, uh, she could probably administer. All right, we need to find a cart. Belinda <laughs> 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 well, will help you. It'll help you load them. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so you, uh, yeah, you you load them up, drag them across the village um, to the hut of. Svan Hilda, which is your your grandmother, the wise woman, and uh, and uh, she says, "What? What is going on? What has happened here, Magnus? What is this?" My, my friends were too weak; they need healing. Ah, I I sensed a, a dark presence in the village. Zool. <laughs> besides, <laughs> besides Steve. Hush, hush Steve. <laughs> Get rest. What 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 was the what was it that you faced? Some red-eyed <laughs> skeletons came from the woods. Oh, bones, 
We hate bones. <laughs> the bones. <laughs> the rage starts building. <laughs> okay, calm. Deep breaths. Deep breaths. So, something that you can see. Something that you can hear. <laughs> I take out my long sword and take it like. <laughs> yes. 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 <laughs> do, you, do you have your fidget toy? <laughs> <laughs> Come, bring them in. Bring them in. I can. I can help them. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> careful! Careful! They're already at negative two hit points. <laughs> Sure right, so she uh, she gives she she administers some uh, mystical uh, healing salves that uh, bring you back to full hit points. Uh, so go ahead and write those nice. down because this needed, is needed, uh, your one. The thank, thank you, Grandma first Bones. Fight. Yes, um, you can tell that um, Bjorn is uh, like distraught. He he seems uh, very anxious. Um, not I'll not just because you're going after him. Mm. Well, did I, you dream this, Bjorn? No, no, I. I guess I should just let it out. Nothing. I, I'm. I. So last night I I was um, I was exploring south south of the village, and I. I fell in, into a hole in the ground, and I, I landed in what seemed to be an old burrow of some sort, and I, well, there was debris, and I hate to say it, Magnus, but there were bones. <laughs> <laughs> and Spit on the floor. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I, I found this. And he shows it. It's like a golden arm, a torque or whatever, a golden arm. It's ancient. Or you could tell it's just really, really old. Can I read it? this. No, it's, <laughs> it's not a bone. It's gold. Oh, it's made out of oh gold. sorry. Okay, just here. Just here. I, I heard strange noises, and so I, I fled back back up out of the hole. And, and, and So let me, let me put this straight. You were grave robbing. No, Someone no. Someone almost caught you, so you ran back to the village. So, uh, Steve, you know that the only home Zool. south of the village uh, belongs to uh, Lucinda Babblebrooks. Uh, oh, yeah. Which I believe is one of your old flings. But uh, she's now married, and she lives there with her husband, the we merchant We on good Eckhart. terms. She lets me come by weekly. And, <laughs> uh, strangely enough, when well, the husband's not there. Well, it's funny you should mention that because you you know that Eckhart has been on a trip to Newmarket for the last month. Yeah, um, that means I've been to her house four <laughs> times. <laughs> well, so you think that maybe this yeah this hole must have been somewhere near Belinda's house? Uh, mm, okay. Yes, 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 yes. I'm familiar with the area. Lots of holes on her Belinda's property. Holes? <laughs> Lots of holes on her property. Yes, yes. Maybe it was an old burrow of some. The the ancients are said to have buried their dead in in mounds, and uh, often we we build graves. our villages. Graves, graves, you have graves like mounds. and you stole from a grave. Yeah. Oh, I I mean it was just lit anyway. <laughs> it's, just lay, it's just laying there after I dug it up. Yeah. Uh, and I when I fell into the hole. Oh. And there it was laying there inside. And so I grabbed it and then I heard these noises and then I climbed out of the hole and I ran back to the village. Oh, huh. okay. okay. I thought nothing would come of it, but I I, I think these these creatures must have must have come from there and seem to be after me. Do you still have the golden arm that cannot be reanimated? It's not an arm, it's an arm band. It's right here. It's like oh. here. T- yeah, okay. It's right here. Okay, okay. It's just like a like a thick gold ring, you know. That they put oh, yeah, it fits on the upper arm. Yeah, yeah. people yeah. without any muscles. I got. It's you. like a yeah. manly jewelry. Yes. Princess Leia wore one. And, uh, <laughs> <laughs> manly and Princess Leia. <laughs> <laughs> what do we owe your uh, your grandma, Magnus, for healing both uh, David and I? Oh, just bring me uh, the next time you have a, a big meal. Just uh, bring me some leftovers. Uh, 
I'm always, oh, yeah. I'm always, I love yeah. this lady. Always nice yeah. to have. Your grandma rocks. <laughs> Maybe uh, Just... if you'd like to hear a tale of the uh, the ancient Wiscan gods. Nah, oh, that's gone too far. We're not going to sit and listen to old lady talk. <laughs> nah, should we go? I'm, I'm a little intrigued. I'm like, oh, yes, yes. yes. <laughs> should we go visit the like hole now. that uh, Bjorn fell in and go visit the mounds? I mean, visit the uh, the area. Uh, yeah. Speaking of mounds. <laughs> <laughs> it's the Iron Man thing. Okay. That's what it was. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> I forgot to turn my uh, my bot on to put the images, but uh, yeah. okay, it was oh, well. Leah in the uh, Java uh, <laughs> for all those who can't see. Yeah, for all those who can't see. I the jewelry. Yes, with an emphasis on the jewelry, not the mouth. <laughs> That's very true. Very true. Um, but yeah, should we go to Bjorn and see if there's anything that we can reanimate there? Well, I I can describe how to get there, but I'm afraid it's might be too dangerous for uh, such young there. young. Oh, weekly. we got this bone, boneless yeah. guy here. He'll, he'll keep us safe. <laughs> You've yet to pass your trial. Uh, I don't know it's if it's not safe. be considered our trial. Nothing is more in, more dangerous than fighting dead things on the way to the mounds. <laughs> I saved you, Bjorn. Yes, that is true. Uh, and, and by extension, we saved you, Bjorn. Well, I killed one of them. Yeah. <laughs> I smacked one for quite a bit of damage and was going to reanimate it before it one-tapped me. Um, yes. Well, be careful. Be careful and uh, be sure to flee if you come across anything dangerous. And... Yes, if there's one thing you taught us is running away. <laughs> I want to, uh, you know, I mean, is there anything that says you can't come with us? Oh, I'm way too injured from this <laughs> battle. <laughs> what, what about Belinda? She seemed to have experience in um, handling bones. Belinda already already left to go get longer oh. skirts. <laughs> Keep her hands off my grandmother. <laughs> we do have an age limit in our group. Uh, <laughs> Is that is that what we should do? Should we go investigate this hole? What's with all the holes? There was a hole in my yard too. For oh, guys, the circus is in town. Oh yeah, we should go to the circus. No, we can't be distracted. We have to do our thing to be. But they to, have clowns and, and candy and. Oh. Let's investigate the hole, then go to the circus. Uh, what if we investigate the circus on the way to the hole? What's the, what's the order of operations is it, here? Is the circle no, the circus on the way? I, I'm thinking the circus is to the north of town, whereas uh, it's geez, either, to the south. It's an either or proposition. We're gonna miss all the good treats. Do we even flip have a, any money? Flip a coin. I do have money. We should go to the circus. <laughs> <laughs> I'll do whatever the group wants to do because y'all are my friends. So. <laughs> how, how far away is this hole, though, and in comparison to where we are from the circus? <laughs> Same. Exactly. Like, is, are we like to the 10 minutes away from the hole and like an hour away from the circus? <laughs> no, no, no. Uh, the circus is just across the village, you know, okay. just a few minutes, but. Um, yeah, I mean, I, the big the show doesn't start till later, so I, I imagine the circus would probably be going strong late into the night. Um, so and and first, Bjorn is later. is worried that um, that you know he might not be safe if they if more of these things come for him. So we should take your arm bend back, put it back in the hole, perhaps vanquish some enemies, and then go to the circus. <laughs> yeah. So the circus is kind of like an after battle treat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. <laughs> it's like it's like it's the party, the party like at the Ewoks. Word. Yeah, the Ewoks have that party at the end of Return of the Jedi. Yeah. So it's like... Okay. All right. Uh, so yeah, you you armor up. Uh, there's a montage as you're putting on all of your 
gear. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> The, the montage for me is very short because I don't have any gear. I just put my dagger in my sheet. <laughs> That's all I got. Just a dagger in my like Sharpening my sword. Rising up. Stuff up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so you head out. Uh, you head out south of town. Um, let's see. Uh, yeah, so you get to there's this kind of stretch of forest between the uh, the edge of the village proper and um, the Babelbrook residence, and uh, you you suspect that uh, the hole is probably in that that wooded area. But as you reach that area, you hear uh, noises coming from the direction of the Babelbrook homestead. Uh, and it does sound like uh, cracking wood, uh, maybe an occasional scream, some growling noises, uh, definitely coming from the direction of, Belin- of Lucinda's uh, house. Hmm. Sounds like trouble. Yeah, we should go there. Fuck the hole. Save the women. <laughs> Wait, that was not intended to be that. But pretty good. Yes. We shouldn't flip that. Never mind. Yeah. It's going to not even touch on that. That was not intended. Reverse that. Yeah. yeah. Reverse that. <laughs> save them and then. Yes. yes. Yeah. Ignore them and we're going to go save them. That's all I was trying to say. That's all I was trying to say. Gonna put a... That is one of these things. Oh, skeletons oh. with hair. Nice. Yeah, so as you as you kind of near the house, you can you see um you see Fine. what looks like they're not skeletons. They they definitely have more uh meat on their bones, but they oh, are like, like ghouls, like ghouls. Yeah, they yeah, they look like what you would think a ghoul might look like. And they're uh, kind of like bashing on the the house like trying to get in like rah, rah, rah. Oh, like Night of the Living Dead, number one. Yeah, and then occasionally yeah. you can hear uh, what sounds like Belinda screaming from inside, like, get away, get away. Uh, let me zoom in. Don't on worry, this Lucinda, Zool's here. <laughs> Stealth. Okay. Yeah, like, not Belinda. I said Belinda, it's Lucinda. I don't know why you guys yeah. named these ex-girlfriends uh, so similarly. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe secretly I've always been in love with Belinda and I just wasn't able to make it happen, so I settled for Lucinda. I don't, I don't know. It's close enough. It's probably, I don't know. I don't want to get too Belinda deep was, into the psychology. Belinda was Belinda Overture. Um, <laughs> Belinda um, Overture. Are there any dead animals near me, like a dead squirrel or a dead like, <laughs> fox or something? Uh, Particularly like a, like a skeleton? Um <laughs> Oh, I gotta roll for this. Does it take you an hour to resurrect one on initiative? No, this one is is zero casting time. I was gonna plus one on initiative, and it's not doing that. Um, I can oh, just. I think I can. Can I add it? Oh, oh. I guess I can just roll my dice next time and do. Mine is one. working. I am getting really good initiative rolls. Oh yeah, I can update it. Uh, so it would have been a three. Yeah, I mean it doesn't. Has it wouldn't have made a difference at all so far. Your initiative is a D twenty plus one. Uh wow. until is proven that... otherwise. That's what okay. I think uh, everybody else is just a D twenty, I think. Mine's a D D ten. Oh uh, what? Uh, Mine says one D ten. I don't know. Oh wait, that's let me make sure I'm reading right. right. Hold on. Um oh, initiative. Yeah. Give me a round of comment and then blah, 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 blah. No, mine's a D eight plus one. Oh this... my initiative. This says initiative. Initiative. So under my class abilities at the very bottom of the reference, mine is a D8 plus one. My initiative bonus just says plus zero. It doesn't say what the dice is. Oh, I don't think you're supposed to roll for initiative in this game. Hmm. hmm. I wonder if we oh. were supposed to roll when we made characters and you have like an initiative value that's that oh, well. Oh. Oh well, we'll, we'll play, yeah, play better next I time. I mean, this is fine how it's working. <laughs> yeah, out. yeah, that works. Right, Down. Uh, I just need to have check. something to res to, to resuscitate to become yeah, my your initiative equal to your level plus your this bonus plus one for yeah. Yeah. So my initiative should be two, is what you're saying. So what are, what about monster initiatives? How does that work? Oh, they're always below us. 
Uh, we always get one bonus attack and then they go after all characters involved pc or mc take turns start with the character with the highest initiative and work your way down from there in case of a tie player characters go first oh well maybe my monsters have initiative values Let me see. Um, so my initiative value you're saying should be two not a 1d20 i did not write that that's just what it populated but yeah these they don't have initiative values so just yeah, two mine, mine should be two as well yeah all right, well, unfortunately, I have a 14 on this one. We'll have to do it next time. Uh, yeah, we'll just, yeah, it's fine. It's more fun to roll dice anyway. I'm down. I'll roll a 1d2. All right, uh, looks like Zul's going first again. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to try to put one of these bitches to sleep. One, what was I? I was looking at one, two, three, four, five. No, five was there. And then my sleepy sleep is near. Can I look around to see if there's any dead animals near me so that I can possibly reanimate one? Uh, well, because you're re is your reanimate a ritual or is it a like is it oh, gonna it's a take spell. you? An I can hour? I can do it and no, I can do it instant. It's, it doesn't have a casting time. It's just a spell. Um it's like my veil of sleep. Both of those are no casting time. I think the ritual was the one that has a long casting time. Cantrips and spells appear to be instant. Uh Okay, uh, is where they just leave dead animals around. <laughs> I mean, they could have they could have yeah. killed something on the yeah, way to the they, house. Yeah, yeah, that's what I was thinking. Uh, maybe the family uh, dog. The, the yeah, they, oh. I was thinking they had him a milk Sparky, cow. No. They have a they have milk, a milk cow. <laughs> it needs to be like a little tiny fluffy dog too. Not even a rich. Have you seen that? There's a movie. What's it called? What's it called? It's about this like de devil demon <laughs> dog. It's it's pretty good. Um. I am supposed to say dark. Uh, the dark magic causes the dead to walk. The mage says the uh, the words of power and causes one d four corpses in near range to become either skeletons or zombies. Slash roll one d four. How many? How many animals do I see around? <laughs> I see four. Four animals that I raise. If the whole herd of cows. <laughs> <laughs> Ghost riders so in the chickens, sky. Dead yeah, chicken, chicken. They're like, <laughs> yeah. 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 Like, there's there's one... a cow and like, uh, what's the last thing? Two one one a... cow and like three little chickens. Three chickens and a cow. Okay. Right. And they are skeletons and uh, either skeletons or zombies, whichever is appropriate. I oh, feel that skeletons the skeletons are going to piss off. Right. I feel that the skeletons should be chickens and the cow is a zombie cow. Uh, and uh, they are under the control of me. It will give me the equivalent of one skeleton, uh, and and he will. I guess he pops up right next to you. <laughs> like, <laughs> with chicken arms. <laughs> yeah, he's, he's like cow. an unholy amalgamation cow. of a cow and three chickens. And he's <laughs> <laughs> well, it doesn't say like they merge that. together. <laughs> These <laughs> creatures are under the control. I guess I could tell them merge in. Uh, you know, evilly. That seems weird. Um, Voltron okay. zombie chicken cow. <laughs> <laughs> um, Let me yeah, add okay. him to the initiative. Uh, of the zombie oh, chicken but cow. But he looks just like... Oh, no, he's the only skeleton. Okay, we know who he is. All right. Um, skeleton. All right. Zombie chicken cow. Did you mark that off your... Um, yes, yeah, spell, your spell slot number slots. three has been used. <laughs> right. um, I don't know what to do with that now and i just say go forth zombie chicken cow show these zombies <laughs> who's boss and uh i wait i wait for his initiative so that he can finally move so there we go my All turn right. is over. uh this this zombie and uh, this ghoul um i think he's just gonna keep smashing on the uh, on the, the fence uh, and lucinda will uh scream again She'll say, Steve, is that you? Is that you, Steve? <laughs> yes, man. Duel, I'm outside. <laughs> can, can, yeah. can I kill these things? I got you. Where's your husband? <laughs> is, it, is it safe? Is Bjorn with you? What? Wait, does he visit on days that I don't visit? <laughs> uh, just kill these things. He's the best at Owen. <laughs> Do, do we need to leave? <laughs> I feel like some trust has been lost in our untrustful <laughs> relationship. <laughs> ah. 
Wait, where are they going? They're heading towards you guys. Oh, okay, okay. All right, Magnus. All right. Let's see. One, Can I shout before his turn? They two, have three. bones! One, <laughs> five. Yeah, so I, as I'm running up, I look over and see this monstrosity of a cow and chicken thing. I'm like, I'm like I'll deal with you later. <laughs> You're next. Yeah. <laughs> it's friendly. Just worry about the bad ones. <laughs> All right, the one in front of me. I'll try to try to hit. That's a hit. All right. Cool. Ooh, what's that? Eight point eleven points. Damn. Yeah, that kills that one. Which one was that? Uh, that one. That one's right in front. Another one decimated. Uh, yes. This one. He gets stuck in whatever this plant thing is here. David. Is there like any barrels or something that I can pick up and hurl at that one that's stuck in the plant? Uh, yeah, there's some whatever this. Uh... Yeah, like barrels, you know, with maybe produce in them. Just like pick one yeah. up and chunk it at it. And... Yeah, like you yeah. strength strength throw. Uh, it'll make it. I think it's a. It'll be a dexterity for me. It'd be dexterity it's to pick so, up something heavy. Oh, well, I mean, you, yeah, it's, I'm not gonna do that then. It's more that's, about that's, aim than I'm, it is about. I'm not doing that. I just saw I wanted something <laughs> big. I was not. I wanted something not finesse. I won't do that then. <clears throat> My dexterity is shit. <laughs> well, guaranteed this. At this point, it's all about the d20 roll from level one. Um. So. Why does my dagger not have a roll by it? My dagger doesn't have a... Oh, there it is. Okay, I was looking on the screen. And this one. Okay. 20. Dang, that's a hit. Five. That is enough to kill it. Dang. You guys are on a roll this one. All right. Uh, zombie, pig, uh, cow. <laughs> zombie, chicken. Cow, chicken, chicken, cow. chicken thing. Zombie, chicken, cow would like to. Oh, can I just give you control of that? Let me see. Uh, no, not yet. Maybe. No, I don't think I can. You can just tell me what you want him to do. Can you move me near the one? Directly in front of us, I guess. He's going to walk on the road, though, because the zombie chicken cow doesn't want to fall in the grass. Yeah, there we go. And then he's going to he's gonna move and, like, uh, hit somebody. He's going to hit him. Yeah. I love it. He's going to hit him with, oh, with, with three mess. chicken heads and four hooves. Yeah, that's he's, a mess. He's, he's, he, oh, that's a it's kind of clumsy. Like, uh, okay. <laughs> All right, all right, that's fine. Uh, which one is it? Let's see. One, two, three. I'll go here and take a swipe at zombie cow chicken with his claw. Claw attack. Magnus is secretly hoping he hits him. (laughs) (laughs) Do my work for me. Hmm. Does he not get At least a the gold has some flesh covering their bones. No, oh, no, he gets plus zero. Okay. So he swipes at him with a claw. Ooh, oh, that's a hit. Three points of damage. That is not enough to kill it, but almost. He like knocks a chicken completely off. Wait, he got one of my chickens? Yeah, oh, he knocked okay. a, he knocked the chicken off. I think we got two more. <laughs> got two left. All right, Zool. Uh, I'm gonna move over to one, two, three, four. Yeah, we're gonna go over here, and I'm gonna res the first one there. I'm gonna do these other two guys. Let's yeah, see what happens. As long as you roll a d4 and see if you're able to. That's right. Because uh, it's a spell. I just read the rules. I hadn't read it before, but <laughs> spells happen without any sort of rolling. So one. Yeah, cantrips four. you have to roll, but they don't take yeah. a spell. Cantrips have. Two. Hey, Ooh, I got both perfect. these motherfuckers. Nice. <laughs> Join our side. So and they're friendly now, Magnus. Yeah, stay back. Don't they're them. back to life. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Kill them again. <laughs> Immediately on our turn, we stab them again. <laughs> Just give them a weapon, not give them your weapon. 
<laughs> I think it's safe to say the tide has turned. Yeah, we got this, guys. Uh, this thing will try to kill Zombie Cow. Uh, 14? What's, the, what's his AC? AC's a 13. That's a hit. And that's enough to destroy it. Oh, That was our mascot. Now goes down. What? Oh. If only I could res him again. You can't res the one that's... They just go back to being a lifeless pile of bones. I can then go, join us again. <laughs> right back up. How many more spell slots do you have? Oh, uh, we have 10 a day. So I got a lot. Six ten. Ten. Oh, man. 10 a day? Probably... I don't know. Uh, until I get told otherwise. All right, I don't know. Well, now, now I'm going to go look it up. I'm sorry. I don't know. I think I'm at uh, 20. <laughs> no, that, that's how many slots are on the paper. I don't know. It's what it, what it has on it. Uh, <laughs> a mage may cast a number of spells per day equal to his level. You're at level one. No, no, but I'm, I'm, fighting, at level, I'm fighting at a level 10. Still. <laughs> Told you, I'm a pro. All these are... Uh, there's there's an asterisk okay, on, so... on this fight, for sure. <laughs> so so I'm out now. We'll just go ahead and say that I'm out now. Um... All right. Okay. What is this? What do you want this skeleton to do? He's going to run over and, 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 and bitch slap that one. Yeah. Whack. What does that do? Is that a roll? What is that going to will? Does he have a sword or does he just have a Yeah, arm? I'm just rolling for his long sword. Uh, 13. Yeah, kill him. Kill him, zombie number one. Oh, yeah, that's a hit. Yeah. That's enough to kill that guy. And then I'll res that guy, too, tomorrow. <laughs> after I sleep. As you come back. <laughs> after I sleep. I gotta, yeah, I gotta sleep before I can do that. I didn't realize I was so tired, guys. Just... <laughs> all right, Magnus. All right, I'll run up. Here and as I'm running by, I like push this one out of the way. <laughs> like, like, <"Grr." laughs> all right, I'll take a swing at this one. Nice. That's a hit. Sweet. Dang. Another, another decimating strike. Another dead zombie. <laughs> All right, uh, which skeleton is this? That one. Let's just see if it can. <laughs> what? Uh, that's a critical <laughs> hit. <laughs> All right, yeah, he's dead. Nice. He's dead. All right, all of the, the zombies uh, are dead, and your skeletons crumble into dust. Lucinda! <laughs> Come out, it's safe, my dear. <laughs> uh, hi, hi, Steve. <laughs> thanks <laughs> thanks for killing those things. Cool. What, where, did, cool. where did these things come from? Uh, apparently, your Yo. boyfriend fucking, what's it called, uh, huh? res these things. <laughs> when he was visiting your hole last night. Yeah. yeah. Late at night he visited your hole. How did you guys awesome. find out about Bjorn? <laughs> He's not telling people in the village, is he? We're part of the village, so yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well we're <coughs> Your husband's gonna be pissed. <laughs> <laughs> are there are there gonna be more of these things? Probably, but we gotta go. We gotta go see. We gotta go check out where they're coming from and return this Princess Leia jewelry. Mm -hmm. <laughs> ah. Okay. Well, um, my poor chickens and my milk cow—they're all—they're all dead. <laughs> they were alive for a little longer. They had a second life. <laughs> yeah, they had a second know. life. They—they they fought valiantly. You should be proud. I don't know if my farm is ever gonna recover from this. It's horrible. Zombie chicken cow. Yeah. Yeah. 
You have more animals. Maybe you can milk these two skeletons. <laughs> if I sleep for a li- if I sleep over tonight, I can I can <laughs> raise them in the morning and we can use them to help put back your farm. If you're interested in that. <laughs> well, well uh, maybe you should go check out the, the burrow and then we'll we'll see after that. Oh, okay. Are you going to the circus later tonight? <laughs> Yeah, sure. Yeah, it's like a okay. reward. Maybe, maybe I'll see you there. <laughs> okay. We'll see which boyfriend you get taken to the circus by. Maybe Bjorn will find out there's a third guy. Or a fourth guy, I guess. Were these ghouls visiting you? <laughs> I'm not sure why I allowed you to have such control over my heart, Lucinda. <laughs> hey, well, just bye. I forgive you. I forgive you. It's okay. We'll see you next time. Oh, that's <laughs> funny. All right, uh, maybe we should stop here, and we'll uh, the next and, and uh... level for next time. I need to. Do a spell slot. <laughs> <Level>. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know. I, I need another spell slot. I can't do anything. I didn't... You... My cantrips, which can blow up in my and face, you, is you le- you, you level a sound. next one. When you level next one, you're still not gonna be able to do anything. <laughs> yeah. Two spell slots. So I, I can do cantrips, which are like rolling the dice, like literally. I, they don't count against yeah. me, but if they backfire, then I can't cast anything the rest of the day. Yeah, it can be and, bad, I mean, right? That's kind of what you're at yeah. now. You but do your one spell, and then you yeah, do cantrips. Yeah, exactly. But the one, but only the spell does something. The other one is a conjure a sound. I'm like, you're a bitch behind somebody. <laughs> that's all I can do. Or <laughs> se- second sight and talk to some dead thing that I can't do anything with. That's all right. It's okay. We just gotta level up quick. This is this has got to be a house. We just got we just got to pound out adventures, guys. We got to grow up real fast. <laughs> well, I mean, all you right. did you did have two uh, pretty. Uh, it, the first combat was a little bit close. The second one, not so much. But... We had three combats. I whooped the shit out of Magnus. Just <laughs> Actually, yeah, that should have been your one spell of the day. <laughs> yeah, I was just saying, the one spell was at the very beginning. Of the <laughs> it should have been, but it wasn't, and so it doesn't yeah. matter. It's now canon that I have 10 spell slots. So you basically <laughs> played on level 10 or... <laughs> I went through four. I went through four actual spell slots. Well, the no, zombie chicken uh, thing was, was kind of fun, was so nice. maybe it was yeah. worth it. All right, well, uh, yeah, we'll start the next time. I was planning on this to just be a one-shot, but I think we could... Um, I don't think you can get through the whole uh, burrow uh, tonight, so we'll we'll start next time as the at the entrance. Oh, we weren't the... going in there. We're throwing that fucking thing in the hole, and then we're going to the circus. <laughs> yeah, we got to go to the circus. Yeah, See you. Kick some dirt we're over kid. it. We're young kids. We're, like, not... We're not responsible. What are you talking about? All right. That's, like, a level seven character would actually take ownership of that problem <laughs> chuck it in there kick some dirt <laughs> ah, we're good. Time. Time. <laughs> i hope they have cotton candy yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's my look